everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Get your coffee. Oh, I can't even drink my coffee right now. <laughs> so I started this new medication from my mouth and it's not helping. It's actually done. Oh, oh, sorry about that. I don't think the medications make it worse. I think that the chemotherapy is making it worse. The medication's not making it better. At least I hope it's not the medication making it worse. I'm sure it's not, but just to show you really quick what I have to do is I have to crush these giant pills in a pill crusher. Mix them in 5 to 10 milliliters of water, which is not yesterday. I have to do that four times a day. She also gave me a mouth rinse for when I can't brush my teeth. So like I told you guys, my teeth were so sensitive to brush. I was brushing them with a Q-tip. So she said those days I could just use this other mouth rinse, which is a swoosh and spit. This one's a swoosh and spit or swallow. And I can still use my magic mouthwash, which I feel like I have to use. My tongue is El Fuego. <laughs> Uh, Lisa said, are your lips starting to get affected? And I said, honestly, the corners of my mouth. So I have been drooling, which is side effect of the mu mucosis, mucositis, mucous membrane inf inflammation. Is I, I tend to, um, to drool. And what actually happens is it's like then the mucus is on the outside of my lips and it causes issues. And I'm going to take a sip of water because the coffee's boning. So full disclosure, I still am drinking coffee, but it's um, late in the day. It's actually quite late in the day. It's 6.30. I think I'm going to forego dinner tonight. Maybe you just have this protein shake down here because of oh, the way my tongue feels. I had some homemade sloppy joes that Jim made, like with sugar-free, um, that I was going to have on cauliflower rice. But I don't think my tongue will handle that texture tonight. So, um, I noticed this, the change this morning. Uh, you guys, I told you that I made um, keto pancakes, uh, batch keto pancakes, I don't know, a week or so ago for the freezer. And I had them this morning. And they the texture was too rough. I had to, like, really mash them down. And, and I mixed in some syrup and... Um, you know, a little bit of, uh, like a van the sugar-free vanilla pudding just to make it palatable. It was so rough. And I'm just like, it is what it is. Hey, look, it's a side effect. I can deal with it. As long as it's killing the cancer, I don't care. We'll work out the rest of it, you know? Um, the, the fact that Jimmy starts work again tomorrow, but he's got different hours tomorrow, is making this first week transition a little bit easier. My home health aide is switching her hours to accommodate Jimmy's work schedule, which is great. Um, instead of her coming after breakfast and leaving right after lunch, um, she's going to come like right before lunch and leave right before Jimmy gets home from work, which is going to be good because... I know, you know, guys know that normally when I'm on the chemotherapy, I take it at in the morning. Jimmy would go to work and I would go back to sleep. So there's really was no point in her coming that early anyway, because most of the time I'd be asleep. Um, so this is good. This way um, she can help me with my PT, my showering, whatever that day calls for, uh, for that day. Make lunch if I can eat lunch. I do have a couple of, of soft palate items, which is good. Some choices. I've got like uh, gluten-free oodles and noodles, which are just like rice noodles. There's like a rice ramen. Um, so I got gluten-free oodles and noodles. I've got uh, the blended chicken salad, which is very palatable. Um, I do have eggs to make egg salad if I want to. Also very palatable. Um, you know, cauliflower mash. Just lots of different choices. Cauliflower mash with cut up turkey. Cold cuts is is good choice. Um, so, like I said, there's a lot of really good choices that I can have if my tongue goes south, which is something that I learned last time, which is kind of what makes it this time. Even though I know what I'm in for, I also know what I'm in for. Does that make sense? You know, I know I know the discomfort that's coming or possibly could be coming or uh, I'm prepared for the discomfort that may come. 
But I'm also prepared because I know what I can and cannot have and what I can and cannot do to help it. So I've tried, you know, we've gone around the... The good thing is the ENT said if this stuff doesn't work, I do have an appointment with her. So um, it, a follow-up in a few weeks. And she said if it doesn't work, then, we'll, you know, call her and let her know and we'll push the appointment up. So, um, so far it's not really working great. Um, but I... I'm still, it just started. It just started like two days ago. So, um, we're still giving it a try. You know, we, we definitely want to make sure that we give it a good college effort. I am surprised that I meant to ask her about this thing in the middle of my tongue. It looks like a rock in the middle of my tongue. I don't know what it is. I don't know why it's there. Um, I don't know if like layers of my tongue are missing. Like I have no idea. Um, she didn't mention it. She looked at my tongue and she didn't mention it. She didn't seem concerned about it. So I'm not concerned about it. Um, smooth peanut butter has been out of stock in my stores. Uh, my Walmart, technically. Um, so uh, natural smooth peanut butter. Let me start there. So I have been trying to eat the crunchy, which has just been like, don't do it. Don't do it, girl. No, I'm not going to do it. Um, but I did order some online, so it'll be here tomorrow. I think. By Tuesday, for sure, from Sam's Club, um, which is good. I couldn't find any soft apples. Actually, that's a lie. Jimmy found a soft apple. They are called Shalin, Shalin, maybe, C-H-E-L-A-N. And they were, this one apple he bought me was quite soft. It was ASD, capital N, lowercase ASD. It didn't hurt my mouth, but it tasted like it wasn't ripe. However, like a big girl... <laughs> I ate it for the nutrition. I ate it for the fiber. I just bared down and ate it. Just ate it. <laughs> I just, I knew that I could have asked Jimmy to get me some like cinnamon or something just to really make it more palatable. But I was afraid anything I added to it to make it more palatable would affect the texture of my tongue. How it already is bothering me. So I just, I ate half of it. I sliced it up so I can make it into palatable bites. And then I forgot we had pears. And pears are so much more even the skin on a pair is soft so i'm i'm grateful this year that we're going into autumn and i can get some pears i forgot we had them which i'm not mad at him because he can't track of everything that's going on but like i when it when a when a food is not in my sight it's literally out of sight out of mind because i don't remember that we bought these pears long and long ago and when I ask him for something like, oh, do we have any fruit or anything? He'll just be like thinking about, he thinks about berries, he thinks about bananas. He mostly thinks about the fruit he likes, which I'm not judging. It's not a complaint or anything. It's understandable. Um, but he's kind of like not thinking about looking around and saying like, what do we got? So the, some of the two of them, I think four pairs actually went bad. But here's the thing. I ordered two red pears and two basically two Bartlett's and two I don't know what they call these I want to say they called them I want to say they called them red pears but I thought they're like Anjou I don't remember but anyway I ordered two of each and I got two pounds of this apple of this pear right here no I got I ordered four of these and two of those I got two of those pears and four pounds of these <laughs> So two two pound bags is what I got. That's what it was. I ordered two of these and two of those and I got two four two pound bags. Um, these are actually really soft and delicious. They're sweet. They are a little mealy because they're getting old, but again, we forgot they were there. We me we meaning me. Um, but that's a great fruit for my mouth. I'm not telling you if you have similar issues, just think about pears. Again, they're high in fiber. They have some sugars, so they're a good source of, like, uh, you know, good sugars if you're watching that kind of thing for energy. Um, like I said, fiber and, and, you know, vitamins and those types of things. So, the system that I thought my body was getting into, this rhythm of, of that I thought my body was getting into. Nope. Yesterday was, was a chemo day. I started to not feel good. If you watched the video from yesterday, you saw I started to not feel good. And then I got in bed and I vlogged some more. And I then got on the phone with Lisa and we talked like till I was awake. And then all of a sudden, like, 
almost like my body wanted to shut down. And when I wouldn't let my body shut down, it kicked in overdrive. And even continuing to this morning, I was like pumped with energy. And I was like, wow, this is very strange for me, like doing this. So it's able to do my therapy. I will tell you that my leg, I told the therapist a little bit the other day, but it's hurting more today. My, where, where the surgery is, like where the, where the plate is on the side of my leg here is starting to like hurt a lot. Like it doesn't feel like the arthritis in the knee. It definitely feels like this outside and it feels skeletal. I know that, that sounds weird that you could tell muscular from skeletal, but I think you guys know what I'm talking about. You might know, I and mean, you might not have any idea what I'm talking about, but that's, it feels like it hurts. And I'm like, be good, take it easy, do your job. Don't, you know, don't overdo it. I just want to be better. And when she comes, I'm like, and it's different because when she comes, I know I have 30 minutes to get her exercises in. But when I do it at home, I don't try to get aerobic. I just try to move the muscles. And that's the difference. I have all day to do therapy at home. So when she's here, I go bang, 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 bang. And I get all the exercises done in 30 minutes. But when I'm here, I do like, oh, bang. La, 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 bang, bang. La, 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 la. Like, you know what I mean? I, I take my time. I don't push myself past any state of discomfort. Now, that being said, when I work out with her, I do push myself hard. I don't feel discomfort until like later that night or the next day. Anybody who's ever had a hard workout knows what I'm talking about. Where you get like some muscles get like lactic burn and, you know, um, just using things you haven't used before. So they might be achy and sore. But it to me, it's just really funny. I'm like, oh, um, well, she's like, how are you doing? You know, the rest of the days, we come like, well, slower. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm not rushing. Um, and she's like, well, you don't have to rush me. I was like, well, I know you're only here for a short period of time. You have other people to work with and stuff. I'm more excited when she's here of getting new exercises to do and doing new exercises. And um, the other day we did squats and I joked about dropping. I always joke about dropping it like it's hot because that's what I told the, the doctor. I'm ready to start dancing. I realized you guys really never saw me dancing. Like I did a few little like this types of thing when I was, um, when I would do like uh, try on holes and stuff. But I don't think you guys ever really saw me dance. Um, but I was joking about dropping like it's hot and she said, I said, uh, I'm ready to drop. I said, I'm ready to drop it like it's hot. She's like, oh yeah, squats. So I said, I stood at the table. My watch is telling me to start rolling. I stood at the table and she goes, go down as far as you can and then get back up again. I'm like, and she goes, no, 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 not as far, safely. <laughs> I was like, okay, that's better. But I will tell you, I was trying to go as low as I could and my brace was hitting my legs and I couldn't go any further. Like, I felt like my knees could have gone further, bent, bent a little further, but my, my brace wasn't allowing me to, like, it was hitting my thighs, and it wasn't allowing me to go any further. Because she said, got to keep your heels on the floor, and that was a big thing. So, keeping my heels on the floor was one that I was like, oh, that's hard to do. You know, if I want to drop it like it's hot, I want to land, you know, roll on my toes and stuff. So, anyway, my dance career side. So to this afternoon, so this morning I was pump, pump, pump full of energy, but really I didn't have nothing, nothing to do, but I really didn't have much physical stuff to do. Jimmy wanted to really take this day to just like do laundry, have a little be time to himself, spend a little time with me. And what we decided to spend our time together watching a movie, watched a movie called Uncharted with Tom Holland and Mark Wahlberg on Netflix and it was good. It was really good. It was a little actual adventure. He, it's a video game. Um, it's from a video game. Uncharted is a video game that they're, um, that it's based off of, I guess I should have said. And it was good. It looked like it's like potential for sequels. I don't know. Um, I haven't been able to go out to the movies. So like box office numbers to me is like, was it, did it do good at the box office? I have no idea. But anyway, um, yeah, so um, we watched a movie and then he went and made dinner with mom, which was, um, I was never going to have what they were making because they're making the ham and noodle casserole. I have a video on my channel if you're interested in the cooking playlist. We made it a really long while ago here and it's a really good recipe. She learned it from Girl Scouts or brownies maybe even. Um, 
and she's just been making it ever since. Oh, hi. How was this? Sorry about that. Um, I was not gonna eat what they were eating anyway because it's got uh, egg noodles and uh, white sauce that's made with flour. So it's got a lot of gluten in it and um, I'm off gluten now. So I was gonna have, like I told you, the leftovers. But um, I'm really glad that they were able to make dinner together and hopefully it came out good. So um, let's see, what else? I got to speak to one of my spiritual advisors today. It's pretty fun. I had, um, it's nice to be able to talk to somebody like different people because different people have different backgrounds in learning and teaching and pastoring and guiding and it's nice to talk to different people to get p different people's perspective on any given subject so um it was really really a nice visit and thank you if you're watching um for my spiritual guide today um so tonight I'm feeling like my body's in pain. My ma like okay, so uh like normally after treatment or my I'm viscerally exhausted and physically okay, like not physically, uh mentally I don't know. My body's exhausted and my mind is tired too. Um and then when I'm not on treatment, usually like it's all together. But today it's uh like a achy body like a really achy not tired just sore everything hurts like it feels like I ate a a, a a giant cake with all the gluten in it like that's how it feels today I know the weather is icky and that does affect my arthritis too um but between that and my leg it's just like so um yeah so that's it for now I mean I do really appreciate you guys coming and visiting me every day. It means so much. I am trying to catch up on comments. Like I said, my brain has been like really foggy and fuzzy. So I got back, I got into the comments the other day and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm like five days behind. So I really am sorry. I really thought I had answered comments after my anniversary trip, but apparently um, some people watched afterwards, I guess. But um, I really do apologize for it being so yeah, it's just getting back into the routine of treatment and dealing with that stuff is kind of taking a little bit more out of me than I expected. But I love you guys. I do. And thank you for stopping by every day that you do. And if nobody's told you to say that you're loved, you can always come by and hear how much I love you. Because I do love you very, very much. And as always, you take care. God bless. And I'll see you next time. Bye.